Hey everybody, Todd here. Today on Exploring Curiosity, we're going to be taking out Tales of Vesperia. It's one of those traditional sort of uh, JRPGs in a way. Like you have like a big old party, a bunch of different characters, they all have funny ass hair colors. So without further ado, uh, let's grill this game. <laughs> what the fuck? How do people, how do, you, how do you be this, where are they going? They're not even walking in a pattern. They're just sort of like meandering. <laughs> so many interesting things around here. Oh, ooh. Best guards ever. Why have we ever abandoned the gigantic arrow saying, GO! That's a great mechanic. Hi, how's it going? Are you enjoying, is there anything interesting happening over there? No, uh, no, how about the wall? Is you, are you gonna watch the wall to make sure nobody, like, breaks through it to fucking steal shit? They're gonna kick the fucking wall down? <laughs> oh, how do you see through that? A cape and a life bottle. Why are those two things sitting in trash, chests? In this, um, you know, presumably important room, like there's this whole altar thing, but also two chests. Yeah, some stuff in there, man. Finish them off. I finished them off. Huh? Oh, okay. My character's a dick. A magical floating book. <laughs> she got knocked the fuck out. I got a little worked up. Oh. Yay, hey, random treasure chest. Okay, see you later, buddy. Oh, okay. Let's force the romantic, touchy feeliness. Hey, I'm I'm sorry. I I'd never seen a blasty like that. I, I I wasn't thinking. That's really all it was. No, oh, no, nope, he's just super attracted to your hand. Oh, well, is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that really? Are you gonna? Are you telling me that? You're telling her that? Who are you talking to, buddy? Okay, I just learned how to do something apparently. I <laughs> wish I could learn stuff like that. Like I just just running around in a in a fucking sewer, and all of a sudden, nope. Oh, well, now I know how to fly. That's cool. Works for me. Move over, right, brothers? Fuck you guys. That might have been the hardest puzzle I have ever done in my entire. Oh my god, I gotta do two of these. Ugh. Man, this is even harder than the last one. Hey, hey, buddy. You don't recognize me? I mean, pretty sure that the entire castle was just trying to capture me because I had escaped from a jail. No? We're good? Alright. How the fuck do I leave? God damn it, I hate that about motherfucking RPGs. Just tell me where to go. Where's the door? Where's the arrow? Where's the stupidly obvious person going, hey? Come over here and do some stuff. Are you an important person? Oh, how do you talk stars? How do you put the stars in the hearts in your words? Where do I go? Fuck, it's so frustrating. Why is it real life like that? Why can't I just like look at an incredibly long, vapid section of the world that I have to cross for whatever reason and just go, boop, I'm done. Pass it all, it's cool. No, no I can't. Can anybody? What does that look like? Should you be like exploding? I hope not. How are you gonna paint when you're constantly blowing up? Why am I holding my sword like that? <laughs> what he means is fuck off. Nope. There was an entire castle full of guards trying to capture me, an escaped person, bad guy. And I get outside and not a single guard knows who the hell I am. And then I get out of the city, I'm in the little lower, whatever, like, poor people land. And one, like a knight shows up in one area, and everyone in the entire lower quarter is like, Holy shit, one knight, we have to go see him now. And everybody knows. We asked a bunch of questions, but I, I don't think we've gotten anywhere in life.